Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the elders of Great Millstone, the prophets, the apostles, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. And this is going to be just a quick video um, based upon something that um, Hundred Eyes said in um, the Netflix series Marco Polo, man. All right. Um, we as men of the Lord are supposed to prize truth. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, is that not written in the in the apocrypha? Um, let me see if I can get that real real quick. We're supposed to um, glorify the truth, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay. You got a lot of these um guys calling themselves Israelites, but they're not really about the truth. They're really about their own emotions. And if they're, they're unsure about what the truth is, and instead of being diligent and, and praying to the Lord as you should do, they just go with whatever tends to be the general consensus, man, which proves they're not men of the Lord. Okay? Because guess what? The, the truth has been revealed in these last days. All right? When you go into the, the elders, you had the, 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 the men that began this thing, like great men like um, Abba Bivens, okay, um, Arya, Yaikwab, um, King Masha, Shah, and other, other elders who, are, who were our elders' elders, and they were great men moved by the Spirit. And they brought out a lot of truth, a lot of the fundamentals in this truth that we still teach this, to this day. The fundamentals, like who the tribes are and, and, and these things, and who salvation is for Israel. These things are part of the truth. But at the same time, the truth was revealed in lots, just as the scriptures were brought down in lots. The truth was revealed in lots. Okay? Now, what was the duty of a man of the Lord? The duty of the man of the Lord is when the truth is revealed, you're supposed to adhere unto that truth. You're supposed to, to um, hold fast to that which is good, cast out the leaven, and receive the truth. That's what you're supposed to do. And that's what our elders at Great Millstone have done. Okay? When the, when the revelations came out about Cornelius being an Israelite, the, the, um, the, the elders didn't refuse that. They, they were diligent and through the spirit of the Lord, them being wise men, they realized that a truth had been revealed. Now, now they chose to accept that truth, but really the Heavenly Father put the spirit on them to accept that truth so he can purify his church with the truth. Okay, and that's not the only thing, which is why we today can tell you that, look, we got 100% truth because the Lord cast, the Spirit of the Lord cast out all the leaven that was in the old school. Because the truth was never meant to come out in one setting. It was going to be revealed in its course. And we're at the end of this thing, man. And we got this truth, but you got guys today that are unsure of what the truth is because they're not men of the Lord. I've got a quick scripture for you, bro. Bring out up. This is John 17 and 17. Sanctify them but through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Can't. Can't. Sanctify them through thy truth. Okay, and we got the truth right now, the 100% truth. And that's what truly sanctifies and makes you pure. You see, you can't have leaven in the doctrine. You can't have leaven, which we're going to get into. Bro, it's hot. It's half of my pocket for a gun. No, actually, yeah, bro. Oh. Just the... Oh, yeah, 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 I see. Right, I just want to get this quick precept here. Which, by the way... Oh, well, you know, we're going to bring that out in, a, in another... When we when we go into what we, with the Persian Empire, but... This, this instance recorded in the Persian Empire, the so-called white man knows this to be true because it is known in the Persian Empire that their virtue which they valued above all was truth. And how did they come to value truth above all? Because the king had it broken down to him by an Israelite. 
in the scriptures, man. So Israel, we've always had a major impact on any society we've been in, man. Okay? But you got these Egyptology niggas talking shit, man. Anyway, I'm going to jump straight to the point. It says here, sec, uh, First Ezra 4 and 34, O ye men are not, um, well you know what man, I'm just going to jump straight down to the point. 35, it says, he, is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore great is the truth and stronger than all things. All the earth calleth upon the truth and the heaven blesseth it. All work shall shake and tremble at it. And with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. With her there is no accepting of persons or rewards. But she doeth the things that are just and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things and all men do well like of her works neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness and she is the strength kingdom power and majesty of all ages blessed be the god of truth and yahweh shem yahushai he's the god of truth okay and it is a little thing for him to reveal the truth unto us in these last days okay but you got these other israelite groups they teach a lot of the same things we teach. They have, they have truth in their doctrine, but they also have leaven. And it's like what hundred I say. Okay, what did he say? He said, um, he he said before that he said when he was shooting the arrows, he said if you miss by an inch, you might as well miss by a mile. Okay, if you're short of the truth by an inch, you're short of the truth by a mile, and that's how you got to be that in this thing because the lord is going to reveal the truth like the mark of the beast being the rfid chip that has been revealed cornelius being an israelite that has been revealed two-thirds of israel being destroyed that has been revealed you israelites you're gonna have israelites that look like other nations that has been revealed but you got guys out there that don't want to accept that they could only go so far in accepting this truth and they couldn't go no further. So guess what? If you, if you miss by, a, by an inch, you miss by a mile. You might as well go back into the world. If you're not going to embrace the full truth, the, eat the whole roll, take, on, take upon yourself the whole understanding, then you might as well be in the world. You niggas in IUIC, you niggas in ISUPK, you might as well be in the world. You got these niggas um, that follow the comforter. Oh yeah, okay, so they know they're Israelites, but they might as well be in the world. Because they, you, if you miss by an inch, you, you might as well miss by a mile, man. Okay, the Lord is looking for perfection, man. Alright? When it comes to this truth. Now, get, let's get um, Galatians 5 and 7 said, Ye did run well, who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? Like you, Bakosh, who hindered you that you did not obey the truth? Why didn't you carry on steadfast and adhere to the truth like the elders did? You know why? Because you're not a man of the Lord. That's why you, you can't get the Cornelius thing. That's why you you talking about the two-thirds are going to be saved. When the two-thirds, the two-thirds are, are going to, their spirit's going to be saved, but their flesh is not going to be saved. There's life after death. Well, you can apply that to these two-thirds ass niggas, man. They're going to be destroyed now in the day of the Lord. But guess what? They're going to come back in the kingdom. So their spirit, ultimately their spirit saved. Because they're Israelites, man. We, all, we teach that. We teach that the two-thirds, they're going to come back in the kingdom. Okay? And they're going to be a part of the kingdom of heaven. They're going to be kings and priests. But guess what? They're not going to be saved from this coming destruction that's coming, man. Okay? Because they, they, they haven't received the truth. Your glorifying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven, leaven lift, lift the whole lump. Right, and that, that rings true, man, to the doctrine. A little leaven in your doctrine, leaven if the whole lump. It makes your whole doctrine off. Like you got guys that don't, they know they're Israelites, but they don't believe in reincarnation. They, that just totally destroys the whole doctrine, man. 
Now, they all have an excuse because guess what? If the Lord hadn't revealed that reincarnation is in the scriptures, then they would have an excuse. They would have an excuse for their ignorance. But they don't, you, you niggas out there don't have an excuse for your ignorance because you're being told the truth week in, week out by the men of the Lord that are out there in the streets, the men of GMS. The beginning with the, the elders, they're teaching you the truth. The truth is there for you. The Lord have put the truth out there on the earth. You don't have an excuse to plead ignorance. Oh, well, you know what? No one ever said anything. I never knew. No, you, you, you've been reproved. But you refu refuse to follow the way of the truth. You miss, son. Okay. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven. Yep. That ye may be a new lump. That's right. And that goes when you got to cast certain men out of the, the body. But that also goes when you got to cast out certain um, things in your doctrine that ain't right. If it weren't right, it weren't right, man. When the Lord revealed that it weren't right, you got to get rid of that and bring in it the, to, to purify the church. Because the most important thing that we have is the truth. You got these guys, HODC, when they when they were they're gonna have a second um conference, right? And they said we ain't gonna talk about the doctrine at the conference because we already talked about that at the first conference and we didn't agree. Motherfucker, if you don't agree on the doctrine, there ain't nothing else to that's the foundation of the church. How you gonna have a gathering, a congregation, and your doctrine ain't right? You got one guy teaching one thing, one guy teaching another, and you're going, because you couldn't come to an agreement, you're going to say, well, we're still going to roll together anyway, and we're going to leave that as if, as if the truth is, is, is not the most important thing to have among you. As if that's not the, tr the strength. That shows you niggas ain't right, man. You niggas are unsure. You ain't, you, you cannot be fully persuaded in your mind to follow the truth. Uh, is it the mark of the beast? Is it not? I'm just going to say it's not, you know, because fuck, you know what I mean? This is Luke 12 and 2. It says, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. So yes, the Lord was going to reveal the 100% truth unto the men, which is this word. The Lord ain't going to, the Lord ain't going to, going to have it where you got his church. The scriptures speak of a, about the church as being his bride, right? The Lord's coming. The Lord said we're being prepared as, um, well, Paul said we're being prepared as chaste virgins, man. The Lord said he's going to sup with us, that we're going to receive him. But when he come back, you got one guy going to be teaching that, that Esau can be saved. Another guy is going to be teaching this. Another guy is going to be teaching that. Everyone's just going to have all different doctrines and we're going to sort it out in the chariots. That's madness, man. No, the Lord is going to purify his church now with the truth. The Lord ain't going to, going, to, going to have us all messed up. What did, what did it say? There's one, one baptism, man, one doctrine, one faith, one Lord. The Lord is going to make us one in that doctrine, in that truth. All right. This is um, John 8. But you brought this out already, didn't you, bro? Uh, what did you think the truth is say? Um, I mean, I've got a quick scripture for you if you want it. Yeah, bring it up. You know, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 38. Mm -hmm. But if in any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Yeah, that's you niggas. You want to be ignorant. You, you, you're basically ignoring the truth. You hear us teaching the truth, but you're ignoring it. Like, nah, I don't want to hear that. Okay. All right. You you're ignoring it now. Some of you are ignoring it because of your pride, and some of you are ignoring it because you're just straight up blind. Either way, either way, you ain't gonna make it, man. Okay. I've got some again. Um, this is Mark nine and forty nine. For every one shall be sorted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be sorted with salt. So the salt. Being obviously the truth, having the truth and the sacrifice being the brothers, man, you know, brothers learning the, the, the real truth and the, and the understanding of the scriptures, you know. It doesn't script say he have an unction to know all things. <laughs> That's in the scriptures, man. Oh, no, you know, we ain't going to know the name of the Lord. We ain't going to, what, what do you mean? What kind of, what kind?
kind of church, you, what kind of uh, uh, a nation is the Lord building? Don't forget, this is the Lord's work. The Lord is the one that's building up uh, Yasha Allah right now, spiritually. But he's going to have bare perversions among his elect? Come on, man. The Lord's going to purify his people, man. Sanctify them with his truth. <laughs> Thy word is truth. This is, um, um, I want to get one more scripture because I didn't want to really make it too long. Yeah, okay. But, in fact, let me just get it in my pocket for real quick. All right. See, the, the, the elect are men of wisdom, man. All right. And you gonna understand that you going to know the truth when you hear it. Because Yahweh Shai going to stop with you. He's going to open up your mind to receive this truth, man. To not be ignorant to the truth. To not be hard-eared when it comes to this truth. All right. This is um, the book of Sirach 36 and 18. It says, The belly devoureth all meats, yet is one meat better than another. Alright. As the palate tasteth diverse kinds of venison, so doth an heart of understanding false speeches. So, if, if, if you have a heart of understanding, which is a gift of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, you ain't gonna be able to stomach, <laughs> you're gonna say stomach, man. You ain't gonna be able to stomach IUIC. You ain't gonna be able to stomach GOCC. You ain't gonna be able to stomach ISUPK. You ain't gonna be able to stomach the Baptist Church and all these things. There's gonna be, there's gonna be, it's gonna be unsettling to you. Like, you got a lot of guys in IUIC right now that, that really, they're, they're getting ready to leave Nate, man. They, they followed Nate for a time, but the more they hear Nate talk, the more unsettling it is. And they're, they're starting to doubt that he has the truth. And they're starting to listen to GMS. And if they're men of the Lord, if they're of the elect, they're going to... Because they, it's not about GMS. If they're men of the Lord, it's all about the truth and falsehood. They're going to reject the falsehood. And they're going to take upon themselves the truth. If, if the Lord have given them the heart of understanding. Like, when you, when you, when you watch... These guys, IUIC, man, you can't, you taste that, man. It's like if you, you, you could taste the difference, man. And it's upsetting, man. You can't stomach it. You're like, what the fuck is this shit, man? This ain't the truth. All right, you see through all the bullshit. Okay? So, hey, man, look, man, you, you out there right now, you, you, you watch GMS, and you know that what we're teaching is the truth within yourself, man. You should count yourself blessed. You should count yourself blessed. Learn this truth. Okay? Learn this truth. Okay? And get out there and, and flip that penny, man. And count yourself blessed that you understand this truth, man. Because this truth hasn't been given, revealed unto, unto um, everyone, man. It's really, really the only people that are going to embrace this truth and follow the Lamb with us wherever he go is the elect of Israel, man. Okay? And all I'm saying to you other cats out there that you ain't really embraced the truth right now, if you miss, if you miss by an inch, you miss by a mile. So with that, I'm going to say shalom. Yeah, bro. Yeah.